hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel and today we're gonna be doing another video and the title of the video is this pack from quran will blow your mind guarantee this is a requested video from yesterday so uh but before anything else if you're new to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe hit likes and uh click the bell so that you will notify on my next upload so i'm excited for this video because this one from the title itself is really exciting so uh, let's begin the video in one two three go Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you are well. In this video, we'll talk about human embryo. Human. In the Holy Quran, God speaks about the stages of man's embryonic development. In the Quran, we created man from an extract of clay. Then we made him as a drop in a place of settlement, firmly fixed. Then we made the drop into an alaqata, leech or suspended thing or blood clot. Then we made the alakata into a mudugata, chewed substance. Literally, the Arabic word alakata has three meanings, leech, suspended thing, and blood clot. In comparing a leech to an embryo, in the alakata stage, alakata. we find similarity between the two, as we can see in figure one. Also, the embryo at this stage obtains nourishment from the blood of the mother, similar to the leech which feeds on the blood of others. Drawings illustrating the similarities in appearance between a leech and human embryo at the alakata stage. Leech drawing from human development as described in the Quran and Sunnah. The embryo attaches itself to the mother to feed just like a leech attaches itself to a host to feed. The embryo also looks like a leech. The embryo looks like a leech but these pictures are magnified by microscope. Nobody knew this 1400 years ago. However, this was portrayed in the Quran. Allahu Akbar. The second meaning of the word alakata is suspended thing. This is what we can see in figures 2 and 3. The suspension of the embryo during the alakata stage in the womb of the mother. We can see in this diagram the suspension of an embryo during the alakata stage in the womb, uterus of the mother. In this photo micrograph, we can see the suspension of an embryo marked B during the alakata stage, about 15 days old, in the womb of the mother. Mm -hmm. The actual size of the embryo is about 0.6 mm. Subhanallah. The third meaning of the word alakata is blood clot. Blood clot. We find that the external appearance of the embryo and its sacs during the alakata stage is similar to that of a blood clot. This is due to the presence of relatively large amounts of blood present in the embryo during this stage. Also, during this stage, the blood in the embryo does not circulate until the end of the third week. Thus, the embryo at this stage is like a clot of blood. So the three meanings of the word alakata correspond accurately to the descriptions of the embryo at the alakata stage. The next stage mentioned in the verse is the mudgata stage. The Arabic word mudgata means chewed substance. Chewed if substance. one were to take a piece of gum and chew it in his or her mouth and then compare it with an embryo at the mudgata stage, we would conclude that the embryo at the mudgata stage acquires the appearance of a chewed substance. This is because of the somites at the back of the embryo that somewhat resemble teeth marks in a chewed substance. Photograph of an embryo at the mudgata stage, 28 days old. The actual size of the embryo is 4 mm. When comparing the appearance of an embryo at the mudgata stage with a piece of gum that has been chewed, we find similarity between the two. Drawing of an embryo at the mudgata stage. We can see here the somites at the back of the embryo that look like a teeth marks. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. How could Prophet Muhammad wasallam have possibly known all this 1400 years ago? When scientists have only recently discovered this using advanced equipment and powerful microscopes which did not exist at that time. Ham and Anthony Van were the first scientists to observe human sperm cells using an improved microscope in 1677, more than 1000 years after Muhammad wasallam. 
Professor Keith Leon Moore is one of the world's most prominent scientists in the fields of anatomy and embryology and is the author of the book entitled The Developing Human, which has been translated into eight languages. This book is a scientific reference work and was chosen by a special committee in the United States as the best book authored by one person. In 1981, during the 7th Medical Conference in Dammam, Saudi Arabia, Professor Moore said, "It has been a great pleasure for me to help clarify statements in the Quran about human development. It is clear to me that these statements must have come to Muhammad from God, because almost all of this knowledge was not discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God." Consequently, Professor Moore was asked the following question: Does this mean that you believe that the Quran is the word of God? He replied, "I find no difficulty in accepting this." Allahu Akbar. How could a man who lived 1400 years ago really? have known how an embryo looks like? Brothers and sisters, if you like this video, then give this video a like and share this video to your friends and family. Okay. Until next time. That's the end of the video. Guys. So, uh, it's about the uh, embryo and uh, discovered by a scientist long time before Muhammad it's, it's in Quran so um, so uh, okay i expect for that but uh, they dis the scientists discovered the the sperm cell it's written already on the Quran so i'm not really sure about that because i have no proof and i don't read Quran so but i respect that so guys thank you so much who requested that video and uh, wow it's blow my mind it's really on the title it's blow my mind so uh, it's really difficult to believe but you know somehow sometimes i will read sometimes i will read those phrases in quran so uh, check it out for that so uh so guys thank you so much who watched until the end of this video and uh Don't forget subscribe, hit likes, and uh, click the bell. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.